Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. A study claims that severe autism can be reversed and symptoms can be reduced if a child is treated regularly from a young age. The unprecedented findings follow a two-year study involving two twin girls in the United States who were diagnosed with autism at 20 months old. As a part of the pioneering research, the program was designed to help both girls thrive and flourish. Scientists are claiming the program was a success with the twins seeing dramatic changes in their symptoms. One of the girls, named Twin P, saw her score on the autism treatment evaluation checklist dramatically drop from 43 out of 180 in March 2022 to 4 by October 2023. Speaking about Twin P, Dr. Chris Damo, study author from the University of Maryland, told the Daily Telegraph, one of the twin symptoms were reversed to the point of being indistinguishable from children who had never had a history of autism symptoms. This twin's functions are comparable to those who never had an autism diagnosis. The other girl, known as Twin L, also saw a reduction in her score from 76 to 32. As a part of the study, which was published in, in the Journal of Personalized Medicine, the twins underwent behavioral analysis and speech therapy. They also stuck to a strict gluten-free diet which with zero ultra-processed foods. The girls were also given daily supplements including omega-3 fatty acids and multivitamins. Writing in the study, published in the MDPI journal Sexes, the parents said they understood there would not be a singular cure to reverse the symptoms. The parents, who chose to stay anonymous, wrote, Through this approach, we have witnessed the radical recovery of one daughter, who presents today as a joyful, engaging, spirited, extremely bright four-year-old. We remain steadfast in our support for our other daughter whose progress has also consistently amazed us and has reminded us that recovery is possible at each person's individual pace. Dr. Dadamo added that symptoms were unlikely to return over time. He said, symptoms that could return might be more along the lines of things like anxiety, gastrointestinal issues, sensory issues, but not necessarily the behavioral aspects of autism.